What's good YouTube, it's your boy Shadow Bear with another video and today Now I'm not the biggest fan of 2k, I'm really not uh, I'll be honest, I've played it for as long as I can remember I think I've played it consistently since like 2011 You know what I'm saying, like if past that I might have played it here and there But I, ever since like 2011 man, I was there when Park first opened up on 2k14 I think 15, 16, 17 were basically my, my actual years for me playing heavy Dropped off a little bit in 18. Like, honestly, I played a lot in 18, too. Even in 19. I really love 19. It's probably my favorite one of all time. 20 was cool, too. 21 current gen was okay. Uh, I mean, no. Actually, 21 current gen was great. 21 next gen was kind of ass because it was just a whole little thing. I mean, you play 2K. You know what I'm talking about. Even going to, like, 22 and 23, I thought they were okay games. I thought they were cool. It just didn't nothing that really got me interested back in the game. I feel like I played so many years. I didn't... I didn't burnt out like you know so i'm not cared about 2k for the last couple of years to be honest and i mean that happens you play a series just like something like call of duty or whatever which it inherently is the same game but with a lot of new features in every game obviously or some stuff brought back some stuff taken out that's what 2k basically is now if you watch the channel if you've been with the channel for a little bit you know that i do a lot of anime content so i do a lot of like stuff that's really not 2k 2k has always been the game i'll play with friends i'll play I like playing it, but I don't really like making videos on it. So you may ask, why am I making a video now? What's what's changed for me? Now, if you guys don't know, if you haven't been with the channel for a long time, I I think my biggest video to date is actually a 2K video. I think it was uh, trying to get the Jordan contract. But regardless of all that, man, this 2K seems like it's going to be really, really good. I mean, obviously, you got the people that's kind of saying that 2K is going to be really good this year. They, they're part of the 2K program. They got the logos. They're doing all of this. I'm not going to say that they're lying but you really can't have a credible source if they're an ambassador for 2k because if they want to keep their job they can't really say anything bad about 2k but i think there's a a common fact that people don't haven't realized or they realize they don't really care uh regardless of how you feel about 2k like it's a game and i know i've said it like a thousand times at this point but regardless of how you feel about it if you're really a basketball fan it's a good chance you might get it you know some people boycott it one year but Regardless, nobody's gonna ever let 2K drop in stock. Like 2K is always gonna have people that's gonna buy it. It's always gonna have viewers. It's always gonna be kind of big on Twitch. It's always gonna be big on YouTube. It's just how it is. The 2K community is going to support the game no matter what. That's why, well, yes, we can hope for different changes in, in 2K, hope for things to get better in 2K, like the VC prices and stuff. But regardless of that, none of that is gonna matter because if you don't buy 2K, somebody will. It's at this point, it's just a proven fact. It would take something like really tragic for 2K to drop. Like it would take a competition. But that's not what we're talking about here today. We're talking about 2K24 and why I'm actually excited for this. Why I made a video for this game, haven't made a video since maybe like 2K18, 19. It seemed like they took in a lot of the older things that people wanted, like the actual things people wanted, because they made affiliations. They brought those back. They changed them though. Just kind of made them different a little bit, you know? You got the badge system where it seems like from what they're saying and i haven't looked up too much knowledge about 2k24 because i'm i'm one of the people that like to be excited about stuff but you know i've kind of been locked in on this 2k24 news i'm not gonna lie like i mentioned earlier the badge system is probably like my favorite thing about this iteration of 2k because it's different in the sense that the badge is shaping around the way you play from what i heard me specifically is that it'll allow you to uh play a certain way just like how the old 2 ks were where you had to play and actually do the thing you were trying to get like if you were trying to get like quick first step or something which i don't think there was a badge back then you were trying to get that you were trying to get um like difficult shots or something you would actually need to do those difficult shots in a micro game or in park to actually get progress for that badges and it seems like that's it's the kind of the way they're doing it now a little bit different though Whereas you don't have to do it 30 times to get bronze. It's just more like you can lose badge progress. The way you play is it really shapes the way the badges work. And for me, that's really all I need. Give me a game that adapts to my play style. Like I can make a character that can do a couple of different things. He can shoot a little bit. He can dribble. He can dunk. But, you know, if I get out of playing a certain way or, you know, I play a certain way or I just become a corner sitter or whatever, give me something that's going to allow me to show that my player has, is getting better at corner sitting and, you know, saying he's not getting as good at dribbling and stuff, you know. I like that, man. I like that. I like the the NBA player builds thing, like where you can uh, just pick a build, pick a template build and stuff. And from what I heard, it basically, uh, when you pick that build, it'll give you all the six for free if you don't change any of the attributes. So it's basically like the replica builds. If you don't know the replica builds were ass, uh, 
in 2K23, but it was something kind of fun to play around with. Uh, I always thought about making one of those builds, but they were just honestly not that good enough for me to even really consider it. But they had some really dope names or whatever. It was cool. It's just something to kind of try out. So now knowing that you can actually do that, maybe get the signatures for free, you know, everything will, be, everything will come pre-equipped. That's kind of cool for people that wants to have, like, a true free-to-play build. You actually save, you know, a couple of couple of coins, you know what I'm saying, on spending like, animations, dunk animations, and dribbles and stuff. Like, you, you save a little bit on that, and that's cool, too. Then we got the pro play, man. I know you guys, I'm. that's probably the thing besides the badges I'm most excited about. The pro play, uh, taking basically moves directly from the nba and auto implementing them into the game is going to be interesting because it could mean that a broken signature move could come up at any time it's going to be a lot of brokenness in this new 2k it's just it is what it is they got so many new signatures down from what they're saying and shots and stuff that they change how that whole thing is and i'm kind of curious to see what that's going to get into uh another big thing for me uh Shot timing. Shot timing was a big thing for me in 2K23. I hated shot timing. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not that great of a shooter. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You can leave me in the corner. I'll knock it down, depending on the game. But in this 2K, I just, I just couldn't have fun shooting. I'm not going to lie. I would always... Uh, in every 2K, I make a plan to make a pure slasher. Just for my enjoyment, because I really love slashing. And I did that. And I made a self shooting build. I made a total of five builds. Yes. I know how much builds cost. It was a lot of money. I made five different builds, leveled them up and everything. My shooting builds weren't really my favorite. And obviously that's just probably what my play style is. You know, obviously six nines were insane this year at all the dunking and the, you know, hop backs and everything else. It was kind of cheesy, but I made a pure slasher, man. And I had my most enjoyment out of playing with that character. That character literally couldn't shoot, but he would still get W's. You still get wins straight off the muscle because regardless, I had full maxed out finishing stats. And it is what it is. Yes, it's kind of scummy. You know, when you think about it, it is kind of scummy. But it just was some enjoyment, man. You know, so I wasn't really out here doing nothing crazy. But the good thing is it seems like those, they, those things are patched. Like the six ones, the really fast, really good six ones that can dunk and, and dribble and are basically broken. They're patched too, it seems. Uh, so no six nines, no six ones. Limitless is actually important because I think they took Limitless out. They might have mixed it in with some more badges or whatever. Limitless is out, and I think Quick Drops is out too, if I'm not mistaken. Those two were really important because for a big playmaker, you know, with no 6'9 guards, you can make a, a playmaker with like a, a low dunk and give him all his stats on like dribbling or speed or whatever and basically make them overpowered. Same for a little guard, you know what I'm saying? A little guard can focus more on other attributes because it only costs like, what, 70 to dunk with quick drops? That was crazy. And then you got limitless, so it's like they're taking off from the free throw line. You can't stop them. Paint defense was trash. Speaking of paint defense, that's probably the thing I'm most worried about because it seems like these last past couple of 2Ks, paint defense has been like a very interesting concept. I've always loved playing the lockdown. I really do. That's probably like always my main. I always make a lockdown either way, like a two-way lockdown in every game. Two-way lockdown and slasher are pretty much my mainstays. Those two builds are like what I normally run in any 2K. Uh, lockdowns are always OP at the very beginning of the year because the stealing is always like not adjusted correctly. People are getting a crazy amount of steals. But in reality, it's just because people don't got badges. And, you know, saying lockdowns could have like that 99 steal and, you know, really get loose. But we don't know if this is going to be an ISO dependent game. Uh, like 2k23 or this is going to be more off screens it looks like it's going to be some screens and stuff like a lot of off ball screens from what i've heard like with a lot of different badges and stuff so we'll see what this, this 2k meta interest ends up being well my last thing man before i get up out of here like i said before my main thing is worried about is the paint defense i feel like as a pure lockdown i had like crazy stats any any kind of crazy stats don't really matter in this 2k because i've had chase down on hall of fame I had like 99 block and stuff, and I got blocks. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I never got blocks. I got blocks, but there were a lot of like dunks and stuff that felt like they were just literally unbeatable and you couldn't win against them. It's actually kind of crazy. But with that being said, guys, I am excited for 2K24. I really am. I think it's going to be a good game. I think uh, you might end up seeing a lot more content from me for, like, for it. Obviously, it'll be a little bit out of place with the channel. I like to focus on like anime and just general gaming, and 2K is something that you have to kind of not necessarily dedicate, but kind of dedicate some resources to man check out the twitch man we're gonna be booming out there with 2k uh you know uh speaking of going crazy on twitch man go follow my my boy ella cautious ttv 
Tell them show sent you if you made it to the end of this video. I ain't gonna lie, we might do a surprise. We might do a raffle and give away a couple copies of 2K24. Or give away some VC, to be honest. Go follow him. He got like 1,600 followers at the moment. We just trying to grind, get this 2K and stuff for this uh, 2K24. But with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video.